let's have a closer look at the first stream where we deal with business risks. Now, what does good look like for the application risk profile stream? Well, first of all, you have an application risk profile questionnaire. When you are looking across the portfolio and you need to say, what is the impact on our applications? You want to have a consistent bar that tells you the reality across all of them. A number of questions that typically should or would go into this questionnaire are, is it public facing or internally facing only application? What is the underlying technology? And what are the technological risks related to that technical stack? Data sensitivity levels and so on. Just get the characteristic information. Once you have this, it has to be readily available somewhere for comparison and reviewing. So you store them centrally. Furthermore, you also want to make sure that your risk profiles don't get stale and you review and update them to make sure that changes to the threat landscape or market shifts are taken into account when you look at your risk profiles. Now, at level one, you should have a questionnaire that you leverage to classify applications. So the criteria for this one are, you have a risk classification scheme. For instance, NIST, high, medium, and low, or whatever buckets you want to have. Each team knows and understands what the risk classification of their application is. You should also have an inventory of the applications that are in scope. In the introduction section of this course, we have defined an application as a separately managed software system component subcomponent. The application risk profile questionnaires are more relevant to what the users would view the application to be. So you might have several microservices that constitute part of this bigger data processing application. You would fill out the risk profile questionnaire for the whole application and then the separate services would simply inherit that risk profile. So if your application is medium risk, then the separate microservices would be medium risk as well. Instead of running separate risk assessments for each microservice, even if they have separate build pipelines and are internally considered separate applications. The coverage dimension here is about the portion of applications that are in scope. And as I've mentioned, it is up to your organization to decide the exact thresholds. For instance, some of them label could be 20 or 30% of applications. You could use 50% for at least half of them and 80% for most of them and 80% or higher. However, you must make sure that these thresholds are consistently used across the organization. Once again, we won't be focusing on the coverage dimension in this chapter anymore because simply picking the right answer here is relatively straightforward. At level two, it is not enough just to have a basic set of questions. So we are looking to have a centralized and quantified risk profiles to evaluate business risk. The profiles must be aligned with your business risk and your organizational risk standards. The risk is covering not only security, but also privacy. You should have a mechanism to validate the quality of the risk profiles, either manually or automatically. And your risk profiles are stored in a central inventory where applications can be easily compared to each other in terms of their risk profile. Now, a suggestion here would be to devise a questionnaire that just produces a numeric score for instance, between zero and 100. Then you could show all applications with their risk scores on a dashboard and enable an easy comparison for the application risk levels across the organization. So for instance, your application A might get a score of 75 and another application B might get a score of 88. From there on, you could say, we will classify anything 80 or above as high 
any application with a score uh, with a risk score of 40 to 80 as moderate from there on you could devise your standards and processes to reference these risk levels for instance you could have a nist 800-53 in place and then depending on the classification you could say hey if it's moderate you need these set of controls if it is high you need those for moderate plus uh, an additional list here. Level three means we're going back to that review process and keeping everything up to date and making sure that requirements imposed on the system are staying current with its actual impact.